And welcome back to Show and Tell Thursday. So for this week, we have Full Circle. This is a painting of the iconic Lobster Pot restaurant down in Provincetown. So if you're not familiar with Provincetown, if you look at a map of Massachusetts and the Cape Cod Peninsula, that arm that sticks out, Provincetown is the farthest town out you can go. Uh, it's an extremely colorful place. Uh, the reason why I like it so much is literally every third building is an art gallery. Uh, it's filled with culture. It's, it's just a crazy place. Um, so the Lobster Pot Restaurant is one of those not only iconic for Cape Cod, but just really, really that whole area. Um, so it's been painted a million times. And when I saw it, when I was down there and taking pictures of different things, uh, I knew that I had to at least put my hat into the ring, so to speak, with, with a, a version of the Lobster Pot restaurant. The sign is usually what people kind of gravitate to. It's, uh, it's, it's an old-time neon sign. Uh, it's, the front of this building is, is very small, but the restaurant goes kind of goes kind of goes back and you kind of miss it so it's kind of hidden uh it's it's right on commercial street which is the main street in uh provincetown where all the uh galleries and shops are uh so uh i wanted to get this photo i wanted to show the neon but i also wanted it to be daytime there's a lot of paintings of this restaurant at nighttime because the, the neon is so is so bright and and uh again iconic uh, but I wanted to get it during the day, but I also wanted to kind of show that neon. <clears throat> so I chose a view of this as the sun had already passed over. Uh, so the side that we're looking at is actually in, in shadow. But they leave the side on all the time. So you can see the neon. I'll zoom in here so you can check it out. <clears throat> get you close. So this painting was a blast. Um, the the building is is maintained but it's also you know it also has that kind of quirky no straight lines in the architecture and i wanted to really capture that everything from the wire rack in the window with whatever that box was uh obviously i really wanted to get that neon sign the right way but i didn't want it to be in your face so that was a lot of fun to do and the lobster too so you can see it, like I said, the architecture is, is, is I don't want to say worn, but it's just settled in, I guess. It's a good way to put it. The other thing I really wanted to get on this, because it's a small painting, it's, uh, and it, it, it's a small painting in the format, and I also wanted to make sure I got that the, the sign in the right way. I really wanted to find a way to give this painting depth. So I used the old master's trick of uh, including extreme distance in it somewhere. And that's what I did down the bottom. You could see the run of Commercial Street, but you can just see the roof line and it's in the haze in the background. So uh, it was done. I took this photo on a spring day. It was a warm day, but it was a spring day. So there's just something about the light down on the Cape, the whole Cape, uh, because of all the water. You're basically surrounded by the water and it just gives everything this kind of really, really special look. <clears throat> the sand that I framed this painting with behind is actually from uh, Provincetown, the, the beach directly behind the lobster pot. So I collected a bunch of sand and used that for the background. The technical side of this, as far as the framing and everything, the sand from the, the painting is, is from Provincetown. The frame is solid cherry. <clears throat> And that isn't stained, that's just oiled, so that's the natural color of the wood. I loved it because I thought it was a great balance between the sand color, the warm sand color, and that red of the of the neon sign. Uh, it has a 23 karat gold leaf border around the outside edge of this painting. And as all of my, as all of my full line paintings, this painting has uh, UV reflection control glass on it as well. So it's great. When you look at this painting straight on in regular light, you can't see the glass. It's invisible. Plus it offers UV protection for the, uh, the painting. The painting itself was done on a piece of aluminum, 040, uh, oh, sorry, 063 aluminum, and it was clear coated. You can see that shine. So it's clear coated and buffed and polished very much like a car would be. So it's, it's durable to say the least. So that is Lobster Pot. Lobster Pot is also available in a print on the website, which is exactly the same size. And this is another um, 
Madison edition Giclée print. So th this is spot on. And I even used the, took a photo of the background of the actual painting as the backer for the card as well. And all the prints are signed and numbered. They're all on acid-free uh, Mohawk photo paper. Uh, I'm sorry, no Mohawk. The, the other prints are on Mohawk. These are on Hanamule photo paper. Sorry. There we go. And there's a great, on the back, this painting had uh, won an award at the South Shore Art Center, which is one of the oldest art associations in Massachusetts. So this painting had won, uh, won an award there. So what I did was um, I included the notes from the judge on this painting. It's kind of a, it's kind of a neat, uh, neat take on this painting. So that is Lobster Pot. So once again, thank you for joining me for Show and Tell Thursday. Uh, if you'd like to see, if you've seen one of my paintings and you'd like it included in a show until Thursday, please drop me a comment. If you, if you have any comments on this painting as well, please, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, again, like, share, and, uh, like and share this, uh, this post as well. And, uh, subscribe if you haven't done that yet. That'd make me really happy. All right. So thank you very much. I will see you guys next Thursday for the next show and tell. And, uh, you guys have a great week.